Hi, I'm Tim from Adreno. Today I'm going to show you how to cook lobster mornay, one of my favourites. Fresh lobster, split in half, cooked in the oven with a mornay sauce. Fantastic. So the ingredients we're going to need for lobster mornay, we're going to need milk, flour and butter, and some white wine for the bechamel sauce. We're going to need garlic and butter to cook the lobster meat in and then we're going to need uh, some cheese to put on top of the mornay. Okay, for the bechamel, we'll start with three tablespoons of flour to approximately three tablespoons of butter. And we've got to melt that and stir that together, then we're going to add the milk. So we're going to melt this butter and just keep stirring this flour in until we make a thick paste. And then we're going to add our milk. And then we're just going to keep stirring that now until that thickens. And you can't really leave this, you've sort of got to just keep stirring. Okay, so this is thickening up quite nicely. Not too many lumps. Just add a dash of white wine. This is optional, you don't have to put wine in it, but it just gives it a sort of richer flavour. I, you know, no more than say 100 mils, 50 to 100 mils. And then I add the parmesan. This is where the, the Reggiano goes in. Quite a strong flavoured cheese, but you don't want it too cheesy, you want more of the flavour and the white sauce. And salt and pepper. And that's a good consistency. It wouldn't run much thicker than that, because you want to sort of pour it over the top. This is a southern green lobster. Uh, we get around southeast Queensland. Uh, a bit different to the painted cray. To be quite honest, they're not that good eating, they're a bit tough. Uh, that's why I particularly like to make uh, lobster mornay with them and I prepare them a special way. So cutting them, I like to use a serrated knife, Michelle's favourite uh, bread knife. Put a, a tea towel over the top so you can wrap a hole in because it's pretty prickly. And just cut them straight down the tail. lobster cut in half and then I give that a rinse out so there's our lobsters now I just like to pull the, the tail meat out stick your finger underneath it work your way along tail meat this has been in the freezer that's why it's gone a bit black uh, but when you cook it that blackness just turns red so now we're going to place the lobster shells back in this paella dish now that doesn't look very appetizing at this stage but we're going to put that in the oven now and we're going to roast that until it's uh, gone red. So we're going to get this lobster meat now and we're going to cut it into medallions, bite-sized medallions, and then we're going to lightly saute these in garlic butter only for about a minute just till they turn white and then we're going to load them back into the lobster shells when they come out of the oven. Good dollop of butter, we'll put that garlic in. Okay, so we've melted our butter garlic, just going to add the lobster medallions, basically seal it till, just till it turns white. We just sauteed that for about one and a half minutes, it's, you can see it's just turning white. That's going to go back into the oven anyway, so it doesn't have to cook all the way through. Uh, if you overcook it now, it will go tough, so the secret to keeping this really tender is just par cooking it and then uh, we're going to load it back into the, into the shells. So these have been in here for about 10 or 15 minutes. Now what we're going to do is just add the lobster meat back in. You can just sit it on top. The, sh the shells are just for show. You don't have to use the shells, you could just put them into a little baking dish, but I think the shells look much better. So next we get the bechamel sauce that we've made, drizzling that over the top of each of them evenly. So we've got the bechamel sauce on, now we're just adding a bit of mixed cheese, a bit of salt and pepper back into the oven. The oven's on about 180 degrees, so that can go in there just until that cheese is melted and browned up. Okay, so these have been in the oven about 10 minutes, and nicely browned up. That is a lobster mornay. 